Have you ever thought about how you can become a high performing coach? Well, today you're in luck because I'm going to share with you some ideas on how you can become a high performing coach. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher with my master's in educational leadership. So using what I've learned in education and how to teach, how to coach, I brought into the coaching world and I help people become coaches. I help people hit goals that they never thought they could hit before. I help people hit dreams they could thought they would never get before. If you're thinking about becoming a high performing coach, I want you to hear this. People don't buy coaches. They don't pay for coaches. They pay for results. So if you're a coach trying to help somebody lose weight, they don't want to hire you they want to lose the weight. If you're trying to help somebody start a business, they're not going to hire you and all your techniques. They want to have the business. So you have to remember that this isn't about coaching. It's about all getting results. So let me talk to you about some things that you really need to be thinking about. A high performing coach does the deep inner work, meaning they have a coach and a good coach. And that coach keeps building them so that they can turn around. You can turn around, coach people from things you're learning about yourself and learning from your coach. Then there's a thing called fearless coaching. And fearless coaching is at first, that was kind of a challenge because what you, it's all about is asking the questions nobody else will ask. Giving your thoughts that nobody else will give thoughts on. Challenging people. See, if you're going to coach people to hit the biggest goal they've ever had, or the goal behind the goal, or the dream behind the dream, you have to be fearless. The third one is creating clients. So you don't attract clients. You don't get clients. You create clients. One powerful conversation at a time. You just keep talking to people. Maybe bring them through a coaching session. Ask them the questions. Hey, what do you want to achieve? What's going to happen when you achieve it? By trying to achieve this, what do you want to avoid? And what's going to happen when you avoid it? Now, what's the next step? You keep asking questions, building things up. The next one is you're building a business. And many people build businesses different ways. But if you're a high performing coach, you have a business. So I'm going to talk about two things. One, you want to create a community of people, mentors, advisors, coaches that challenge you and help you along your way, that are willing to ask you the hard questions, that are willing to step out and say, hey, you should be doing this. Then you also want to work at building a community. So first you create a community that you're going to surround yourself with but then you're going to build a community. And when I talk about building a community, it's like where your clients can meet and help each other. So when you're doing this, you need to keep looking about how can you create a community of people that you can surround yourself with? And then how can you build a community that you can surround your clients with? Hey, if you've ever thought of becoming a high performing coach. I can help. I truly can. Now what I'd like you to do if you're looking for just advice, some strategies, set up a call. MarkNelsonOnline.com forward slash call. MarkNelsonOnline.com forward slash call. And let's just have one of a powerful conversation to help you in your way. Y'all take care.